the first release for the Femtoreg, uh, mainly it's a, a rigging uh, script for for the face. Um, we will start with uh, what the script do. Uh, the script creates two kind of modules, okay, the generic module and the centric module. Uh, each module will be in uh, in a group, okay. Uh, the difference between two, uh, these uh, two uh, modules is uh, the, the centered one uh, always share uh, a center center controller for uh, for this module. Okay, uh, and the generic one uh, doesn't share anything in between. So uh, if we see the the eyebrows, this is a controls of uh, controllers of the eyebrow. Doesn't share any uh, sensor uh, controller or something like this. Um, you can use this for eyebrows, uh, eyelids, uh, cheeks, and all uh, other can be used uh, sensor. Uh, each module uh, can has uh, two uh, kind of uh, sub modules. Okay, uh, like if you have an upper and lower lip. Okay. So here, upper and lower mouse, or doesn't have like the cheeks, eyebrows, doesn't sh have sub modules. Okay. Then the 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 script creates three kind of controllers for you. First one is the the main controller. Okay. Uh, the main controller um, like a global. Uh, controller for all uh, the modules and the, the second one is uh, the macro control okay like these ones okay and the third controller uh, which is the micro control <coughs> so the uh, main controller control everything okay the micro control, the main control controls uh, everything, and uh, the macro control control the micro ones. Okay, and the micro control control the joint itself, which you are uh, you will uh, skin skin it to your mesh. Okay, uh, this uh, micro controls is uh, move uh, moving uh, seamlessly with the mesh. So if you uh, would like to create any kind of blend shape or or corrected blend shapes for it, the the micro control will will follow, okay? Without any uh, active blend shapes, okay? There is no need for active blend shapes. The the script create everything automatically for you, uh, even the skinning. The skinning um, has uh, some. Uh, very good features um, for smart skinning. Uh, it will uh, cut the time for skinning this uh, uh, this character. Uh, you will make it very fast. Okay. Uh, we will see uh, how how it works. But uh, first, uh, we need to know uh, what it creates for us. Okay. Uh, so uh, the microcontrols. Uh, moves with the macro controls based on the distance when you create the the the, the modules with the fit rig which will we see uh, in a second uh, you will place uh, this uh, macro controls okay after placing these macro controls the script will automatically um, define uh, for each uh, uh, micro controls how much it will follow, okay, each macro control. So, uh, uh, and uh, after that, it will uh, pull this uh, out for you if you want to change it or something. So, if we uh, pull this out like this, and we uh, didn't like uh, this uh, micro control to follow this uh, macro control uh, this much, uh, so we can lower down or, or, or adjust how much it will uh, uh, follow this macro control. 
but the initial uh, weight will be uh, very fine okay okay let's see uh, how uh, the joint looks okay I will isolate this so you will see everything is uh, neat and uh, this main uh, main uh, joint and it will has uh, have uh, all the the micro joints uh, in it okay so uh, the scanning process will be very very easy so now we we know uh, how is um, the the what does the script do for us and uh, now uh, it's time for us to see how it works okay before that we can uh, say um, how I like to uh, rig the face uh, first I create uh, the two uh, one model with the sub model the upper and lower one. Uh, for the eyelid and also I create another uh, module uh, the same but the, the it will take the, the opposite weight for the eyelid and we will see it uh, in a second okay to create how you want to adjust this crease okay and uh, uh, another one for eyebrows okay uh, someone asked for uh, about the, the topology and, and uh, how much uh, this script will rely on, on the topology. Uh, first of all, the topology uh, has to be correct. Uh, either you are using my script or not. Okay, because if you want to have uh, this uh, very good uh, uh, crease here with the eyebrows, uh, and we saw this in. Uh, Zootopia uh, much uh, the Judy Hobbs uh, create this crease with her eyebrows uh, so you have to have uh, this uh, this edge right here okay and also if you have uh, this very big eyelid so you will need of course um, uh, a nice amount of uh, edges here to have uh, this even if you have uh, fair in it it will be uh, a must okay to have this okay very very wide uh, area here okay and this is the, the crease if you want and after this I create um, uh, a very important uh, this uh, controller right here it's very important uh, which is uh, just set driven keys for <coughs> for the main uh, pulling and squeezing down all this uh, area here uh, the, this, the characters which has this um, uh, very uh, spherical head uh, always need this uh, this kind of control uh, this kind of uh, uh, controller here to, to make the life easy for the for the animator to, to pull and squeeze down all this uh, area here without using any uh, any kind of blend shapes because now you can you can blink you can make the character blink very easily okay all, all of them has uh, just a skinning and you can create a, a corrective blend shape if, if you uh, make the set driven keys for all this uh, macro controls to, to, to have this kind of shape here you can make a corrective blend shape uh, maybe you straighten this uh, eyebrows uh, a bit uh, removing this uh, uh, squeezing area or something like this area here okay and uh, the mouse is uh, very very much uh, standard okay uh, but I uh, also make here um, this kind of uh, parent blending here so uh, you can make the different
this macro controls move with uh, the lower jaw okay and uh, also you can animate it here okay and uh, everything will be uh, very easy with the script we will not doing much here uh, especially in the skinning skinning uh, for uh, the joint base uh, rigging Okay, and we will know, and we will see now uh, how did I automate this uh, uh, this process here. Okay. Also here, uh, each uh, macro controls um, will be generated with uh, this uh, hierarchy here. Uh, our set group, uh, the, the the script to make this. Uh, if if you'd like to make the the neutral balls for for the character is like this. Uh, it uh, take these values here and uh, put it into the reset uh, group. So uh, the neutral balls for the character will be like this. Also, we will uh, have uh, the selector. Uh, it will comes with the uh, with the script also. Uh, you can uh, reset everything in the face, uh, reset uh, just the, the uh, microcontrols, the microcontrols selecting selecting them. So uh, if you'd like to ha to use the shift key, so it will uh, add the, the the other side to your selection. You can uh, uh, mirror mirror the the balls here. If this here and we can mirror it from left to right if we, if we would like okay and it will be uh, very very easy so it even works with uh, the rotation very well uh, everything will be uh, neat here okay so uh, now let's see uh, how it works uh, all what you need to have your uh, uh, face uh, rigged properly you start rigging the the body first then uh, you have uh, the head uh, is uh, scanned with uh, with your body system okay and we will see uh, now how the script automatically connect uh, its controllers with uh, any current uh, rig uh, here okay so let's start uh, from uh, top to bottom let's start with the eyebrows here all uh, what you need is uh, select the vertexes which are make the uh, eyebrow okay and of course we didn't uh, share any uh, uh, center controller for eyebrows okay so uh, this is uh, just uh, uh, predefined names to make the life easier while select uh, while typing this here okay then you will need to add the uh, the selection here the selected vertexes here inside the this okay we don't have any uh, upper or lower uh, sub modules okay then uh, what we will do next is uh, uh, add the, the parent controller for uh, for this uh, eye browse so um, the script will automatically try to find uh, its uh, joint okay but if it didn't because of any uh, missing in your hierarchy or something like this you can load it manually so you will need to have the, uh, the controller here and the joint here okay for the parent for for this okay then uh, of course it's uh, mirrored it will uh, automatically mirror uh, the other one uh, you don't need to add its vertexes then uh, create generate module okay uh, what you need, na what you will uh, find now, is the microcontrol uh, properly placed on the vertexes you uh, selected, and uh, the microcontrols uh, try to place themselves 
uh, at the correct places okay uh, then uh, as we said earlier in um, in the uh, what the, the script do uh, uh, the the macro control will will control the micro controls based on distance so uh, you need to to put the macro controls uh, in in a place you need to control okay which means uh, you need to control now the 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 outer uh, portion of the eyebrow so we put it here then of course uh, this is will uh, affect the mid portion so we can uh, make it closer to the mid portion okay Uh, then we can uh, do uh, the the eyelid here. We will select uh, the upper eyelid. Okay, I uh, just select the upper eyelid because. We will use now uh, this sub module, okay, and uh, the the same uh, parent controller and uh, parent join for the eyelid itself, and we will add uh, this here. Okay, of course it's uh, mirrored, and we will generate. Okay, but we don't need uh, three. Uh, uh, you can you can do uh, whatever you want to with uh, the number of macro control but uh, what I did uh, for the eyelid is just one uh, macro control okay so uh, what we can do now is uh, easily uh, delete the whole uh, proxy group for eyelid or you can just delete uh, unneeded uh, macro controls okay but, but we will make it cleaner and we will just delete this and reduce the number of macros here okay and hit generate okay this is just a one uh, macro control here we will control the whole eyelid okay next uh, we will do the lower eyelid so we will select the vertexes in order okay it has to be in order okay uh, for the 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 eyelid it's better to to use a, a closed loop okay this is will helps you in uh, scanning very much okay we can clear this add those say this is a lower eyelid generate module okay and we have it now okay this is the, the right okay same setup and now we have this okay and we and you will have here uh, a mirror for the macro control places and micro control if you need to uh, change it uh, a little bit so let's jump to uh, the mouse and see uh, the centric module uh, how it works also okay I isolate this uh, for a easier uh, selection okay we will go to here say it's this is a mouse okay the mouse have uh, uh, has a, a lot of uh, interesting features the the centric modules uh, generally okay this is the upper eyelid it's better to to let the module the modular uh, don't make uh, this for you you can make it with a very set uh, group okay so I have select the upper eyelid uh, uh, the upper mouse lip okay and I'll add uh, its vertexes and I'll say this is an upper 
OK. We will select now the, the lower, the lower uh, head controller. OK. Then we will hit generate. OK. Very nice. Uh, what we will what we will got here? Uh, we uh, got uh, three macro control. How they will be located here? You will get a central one. Okay, so you will have one, two, three for the left, one, two, three for the right. Okay, and this one will be shared between the upper and lower one. Okay, to have a, a corner a corner controller. Uh, that controls the upper and lower uh, lap with uh, uh, with one uh, macro control. This is a very very uh, good uh, feature here. You will see in a second here. Okay, we will jump to the lower eyelid. Now I have uh, selected the the lower vertexes for the for the uh, mouse lap. Okay, so we will add it. It's lower. Okay, we will. Uh, sorry, I had to generate the reg, not to generate the centric model. So okay, you will got here um, another uh, lower macro control and another center okay but just uh, one uh, uh, corner here okay so uh, you, you have one two three for the upper uh, lift the mouse left and uh, one two three one two three one two three for the wrist so each uh, part of the mouse uh, has uh, three controllers for it okay very uh, neat okay and we will continue uh, doing this for the rest of the the controllers now okay so I'll pause the video and uh, do uh, the rest and come back okay okay I did uh, uh, the cheek and I did uh, the eyebrows crease and uh, here's a small tip for uh, the cheek I use uh, three uh, macro controls one uh, put it here to use it with uh, this mouse corner uh, for uh, the smile because uh, when you uh, pull this uh, mouse corner here uh, the, the cheek uh, gets squeezed so you will need to to relax it with with this <coughs> uh, macro control here. Uh, so uh, and another one for 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 this, it uh, it sometimes uh, you need to to make the cheek uh, get uh, <coughs> round from here or from there. So I use two uh, instead of one. Okay, and uh, then uh, we need to mirror uh, all the position. Uh, you can add another uh, uh, upper and lower uh, eye crease here to use it uh, when you have the the blink or any uh, kind of uh, advanced uh, expression here. You, you sometimes you will need it, uh, especially in in this big eye characters uh, but just for the demonstration we will uh, uh, get over it okay and uh, we, you can also uh, add another uh, center centric module here for the chin sometime you will need to to flatten this or or making uh, make it uh, with a spike here or something like uh, then there is the, uh, another important uh, uh, another important thing to to keep in mind uh, the the main the main controller here 
we said earlier we will got the main and macro and micro okay the main controller uh, should be placed properly also so I think it's better to 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 place uh, this in the center of uh, of your eye okay so what we can do is uh, show the joints and select the the main uh, controller for the eyelid okay and select the joint and we have here uh, a lot of features uh, already will come with the with the femtoreg script this is uh, for the scanning we will uh, get into it now <coughs> and there is another uh, set of functions here for the transformations uh, you can select uh, all your uh, uh, objects you need to align and lastly you will select the target and align object the object will get aligned perfectly or if you want to just uh, align the bevel and keep the, the object there you can uh, say uh, uh, align uh, bevel instead of object okay uh, then uh, the mouse uh, main controller here I think this one yes this one okay um, I, I didn't like to key to to send it here to the jaw because uh, if you would like to scale the the mouse, uh, it's better to scale it from from here because you just want to s uh, scale the lips, okay, not the whole uh, mouse. So I I put it uh, here. Uh, it's uh, up to you. Everything you you would like to do, just the concept, okay. And also we will use our mirror function here to mirror uh, the, the main controller places okay and everything get mirrored properly I think uh, the script uh, put the, the main uh, controller for the eyebrows in the correct place I think okay mirror it very nice so let's generate now okay the script goes into each module and do everything for you okay and just in a matter of seconds to have your uh, facial rig uh, set up okay uh, now we can see what I'm saying the corner uh, controls uh, both upper and lower and uh, here also the eyelid and the script do a lot of very good uh, mass uh, vector mass to figure out what is the perfect um, weight should uh, each uh, module uh, each microcontrol uh, has to take okay and also we know from uh, the uh, last part uh, the script pull the values here to let you adjust it very easily okay uh, now we will go to the scanning part okay and you will see uh, the scanning part uh, is uh, very very easy uh, I forgot to, to mention uh, these um, uh, the, you, you better to uh, use this uh, uh, method to figure out uh, the mirroring okay this is a topology mirror uh, but uh, um, in, in uh, latest update I have made with myself I create function uh, can uh, get the mirror uh, vertexes uh, very efficient but of course the topology is uh, best okay but if you didn't uh, the script will uh, also work All what you need to start scanning is uh, selecting any uh, part of uh, the module and load it here and it will load automatically uh, everything the main geometry and the parent uh, joint uh, this is very very important because w what the, the script will do is balance the, the weight between uh, these uh, module joints and 
this bearing joint okay so uh, first we will select the the vertexes here okay this is a vertex for the model and we can uh, go to the range we want this uh, module to affect okay second we will set a uh, full weight for the selected weight uh, selected vertexes to the main joint so uh, first we will uh, scan all these to the main okay this is the workflow you will see it very very easy okay so we will set the full weight and uh, the script will automatically uh, open up the uh, skin weight tool and look everything except the the upper head and the eyelid main okay to let you uh, very easily uh, smooth between them okay now we smooth this until we get very very smooth transition here um, what I'm doing is doing this and then select uh, this again and maybe uh, increase the the range here and set these to one to, to make sure uh, the last uh, two or three rows uh, has the full uh, have a full uh, amount of control okay uh, then the second part is uh, transferring uh, these uh, transition this is very very smooth transition here between the the main control and these microcontrols okay if you have a perfectly closed loop like this and like the mouse and this is a, a difficult part you can use this uh, smart uh, transfer it's uh, very very neat and uh, create a very very neat uh, 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 transferring between the uh, two uh, two joints okay and uh, this is standard micro transfer uh, you can use it for something like the cheeks uh, the, like the eyebrows which it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have any um, kind of uh, closed loop or something like this okay uh, and this is the range uh, for uh, the transferring okay so this is a one two three four five six seven okay we will hit seven or more uh, okay you sometimes need this but if you don't have any uh, inner uh, eye uh, you you can make it uh, 10 or something okay we will press smart transfer so let's see what the script do for us okay you'll find each uh, each joint get its correct uh, scanning you see the smooth transition between the, the head the upper head and uh, the eyelid itself so we can test now the controller okay we can use here the dual quaternium uh, scanning to have this uh, uh, ball here to come up okay but what we has to do have to do now is adjust the uh, micro control weight okay it will be also very very easily and it's uh, mirrored already you can mirror uh, anything you can adjust here okay to have the, this full uh, sorry uh, this is straight line here for the eyelid and we can hide those and okay you, you may need to give it a little bit of time to make it perfect but just for the demonstration okay we will make it very very easily this is a cheek 
and uh, what we can do now uh, we can uh, isolate uh, isolate this uh, module here not get confused okay and select the micro ones okay okay now we have this we can reduce these two nice and neat everything will, will be clean clean okay uh, now if we will check this oh we didn't mirror the scanning uh, or the microcontrol weight here and you can use this uh, mirror um, function here uh, you didn't need to select anything because it will take this geometry here and mirror its skin okay and also we can mirror the microcontrol influence so you got the microcontrol influence here uh, very very easily uh, so uh, what you will need to do now is um, jump to the micro ones and do uh, the same process here so we got now I put weights here and we can reduce this a little bit okay it will be uh, based on your um, eye shape okay and then we will mirror to check everything is okay okay now it's very very good oh, of course um, you need to know uh, what I'm saying about uh, uh, the skinning uh, method here if you use a dual, dual quaternium here and just add uh, some of uh, uh, rotation here for the uh, the eye you will see this uh, blood come here uh, this kind of uh, uh, very uh, prominent eye um, it's better to use a corrective blend shape um, the, this is what I'm done for the final version of uh, Judy Hobbs or you can use just uh, the the dual quaternion method with a little bit of rotation here okay and if you would like to uh, smooth uh, everything more uh, the, the script allows you to to use uh, this main uh, joint here and uh, transfer the scanning back to it okay and uh, this is allows you to uh, make sure uh, each uh, microcontrolled has a full uh, controller co full weight on uh, its vertex full control of uh, for uh, each uh, vertex okay so you know uh, this vertex has a full control for this uh, microcontrol uh, okay uh, and uh, this is a very standard uh, add influence uh, uh, function here uh, like uh, what you have in uh, the Maya okay uh, you can add uh, this is a shortcut for adding the main control manually uh, for if you didn't like to use uh, this controller or you can add microcontrol or you can add the selected uh, joints if you, if it didn't uh, uh, come with the script. If you want to add uh, any standard joint you built by yourself, 
and uh, if this uh, uh, joints if you select a lot of joints and add the selected if uh, some of them uh, is already skinned to the joint uh, the, to the mesh itself uh, it will not give you an error it uh, just uh, skip it okay um, and then uh, you have uh, this uh, transfer uh, uh, skinning okay uh, what it actually does if you have uh, uh, an, uh, an eye browse here we can test it now I just duplicate these faces here so okay but uh, we should uh, uh, scan the eye browse first it will be very very easy okay we will load the eye browse module select its vertexes and I think here we will uh, need to think a little bit which vertexes we want to affect and to where we need to smooth the transition so I think you need to take all this area with you to to smooth it with the with the eye prowls, okay. Um, this uh, transfer and set full weight and uh, everything will not affect the 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 eyelid uh, the eyelid weight, okay. So now we can smooth it. Okay, and we will try the standard micro transfer here. So uh, it did a very great job, but uh, it needs some uh, involvement from you. Okay, the 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 joint is already uh, uh, locked, and what you need to be unlocked is already there. Okay, so now you have. All the microcontrols has been scanned uh, properly, so we can test now this, and we can add some influence here for the middle one. Okay, to get your result. Okay, and um, let's see. This is the uh, uh, browse uh, geometry here. Uh, so you can select all uh, the, the geometries you want to uh, transfer the skin to it, and lastly skin the the uh, source. Okay, and you will say fully transfer. Okay, what do you get now? Is the browse move perfectly with with the geometry without any skin wrap or something it just has a skin cluster okay and we get rid of this extrude by deleting non-deformer history and you will have it if you have clothes if you have anything you can do it like this okay uh, very nice uh, what's next if you have uh, the opposite way if you have an ear has been scanned um, very well just the ear and you want to transfer just the vertexes which creates the ear to the main mesh you will use this partial uh, uh, skin transfer okay and saving and load uh, skin weight uh, you can um, use the, the whole group to export uh, everything or uh, you can use uh, just uh, uh, just one uh, object okay we can uh, we can try it now we can select the whole mesh and uh, save the skin 
this is uh, where the script will uh, uh, sa save this scan weights and if you use this add the name uh, the file name uh, it will create a folder with a full file name okay which will be Judy hops uh, underscore start face and save all the skin weights uh, into it okay we can save it now let's go through it and all the skin weights have has been saved so we can select everything and edit delete history okay to make sure it have they have nothing okay they have nothing now all the controllers off okay even the body and now we can uh, edit the, the UVs uh, do whatever you, you, you want but don't uh, extrude or add or remove any vertexes because the scan weights are based on the vertex ID so you don't have to change this vertex ID so then you can load uh, your scan weights from uh, the same uh, directory um, also with the group uh, selected okay uh, it will uh, uh, load the scan weights on uh, to all all the, the meshes okay all the meshes now get their skin back okay and uh, then you have uh, some uh, very easy um, uh, tools here for creating groups creating offset groups um, removing and uh, removing suffix and prefixes uh, this is a number of iterations if you have two underscores and you want to remove the last two you can type two here uh, this is a separator you are using and this is uh, the align a bevel and align object what we uh, see uh, uh, from in, in the last part and uh, this is uh, uh, directed transform connections if you uh, have uh, like two objects or three or four ten whatever uh, of course you will use it in the in the reg itself and rigging your your things here okay you can directly uh, connect them okay so now they have a direct connection uh, or if you want to use a appearing constraint for multiple okay same same way okay and if you if the object have already and um, and connections and you change it with another like this one okay and the script also will will work properly so see what's happening here very nice uh, features I uh, hope you like it this is uh, for converting uh, the selection to easily uh, do this for you if you select the main joints from main joints select the micro joints select the vertexes okay uh, everything is uh, set here okay now we are selecting the vertexes uh, this is uh, all uh, everything about it uh, I hope you like the script and if you have any uh, suggestions or, uh, or anything you uh, would like to add uh, you just send me an email uh, and I think I will do it for you thank you very much